Hey, 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 guys. Sean G back with another video. Thank you guys for tuning into another one of my videos. I really, really appreciate it, guys. Mm -mm -mm. Guys, I need to ask y'all a question. And I need y'all help on something. Uh, really for the real ones, not the ones that's playing around. Because uh, right now, this ain't this ain't the time to be playing. But um, I have to ask you guys a question. Has it ever been a time, and I'm quite sure it has been for some of you guys, where you fell into vulnerability and uh, it seemed like no matter how much you try to shake it or uh, what else you try to do to get yourself, you know, out of that funk, uh, what are the methods uh, do you guys use uh, to get you get yourselves in a in a better place. I know for me, I pray. Uh, I listen to uh, the Bible on my CD, as you guys know, and uh, I also listen to my gospel music. But no matter how much I do that, it's temporary. Um, because once I'm done with it, uh, it seems like I'm still stirring with the uh, same situation. And what's going on, guys? I had took my car to get an estimate uh, to see how much it would cost to just get a pay, a basic uh, paint job. Uh, for over the years, uh, you know, normal war and tear uh, with the elements uh, and the sun. Uh, that the car is due for a, a paint job. And I was explaining to uh, the owner uh, that I had noticed that there are some little, I don't know what you call that, installation. It's probably what it is, installation uh, that keeps uh, showing up on my dashboard when I get in my car. Now, mind you, a couple years ago, um, I was told because I live close to the field uh, that there's a possibility it could be a mice or several mice uh, in my uh, vehicle, in the dashboard, or coming through, uh, making its way through my car. And... Uh, I guess from them using the bathroom, if you call it, want to call it that, or releasing themselves, uh, I was always smelling this piss smell. Uh, and I would not use my air for a while and just have my windows down, but it was getting to the point where it started to get stronger and stronger and stronger. And, it, and when I was discussing with the owner, uh, of the paint shop, he had let me know that it's definitely some mice uh, that got up in uh, the dashboard. And uh, they're chewing on things, and uh, you need to get that taken care of. Uh, I will have to go and get some uh, some uh, rat poison and... Uh, try to run them out that way because I was trying to use an old remedy uh, from someone that I had a discussion about this with. Uh, she had advised me to get some Irish Spring soap and just put it all around the car, uh, including the trunk and all. And I did that for a while, but... The smell was so strong. You guys, if you ever use ivory soap, then you guys know that that's a strong, manly smell. Uh, and it, because I had surgery on my nose, uh, it heightened my sense of smell. So it's a lot that I can't tolerate uh, when it com comes to uh, strong uh, smells. So... I really don't want to put no rat poison in my car because by me driving it or whatever, I don't want it to, you know, 
shoot up in my face or get on me uh, when I turn my air on or I got my windows down. Um, definitely don't want it to uh, make its way in my face. So with that said, guys, I just want to know what uh, if you ever had to deal with something of this nature, uh, please leave it down in the comments because I would like to know. Uh, it ain't no shame in my game, guys. I, I always try to figure out things and try to find out things the best way I possibly can. And especially when it comes to money, uh, I'd rather uh, find a more uh, simpler way than somebody just want to just take your money. But uh, if you guys have experienced this, or had a similar situation like this, uh, leave it down in the comment section and let me know uh, what remedies uh, do you have or what remedies did you use that did work uh, to uh, alleviate this situation. Um, because God forbid, <laughs> I do not want to one day get in this car and be driving and a mice come out of nowhere. It just will not be a pleasant thing, nor would it be a pleasant sight. So, guys, uh, before I get the rambling on, I say if it ain't one thing, it's another one, guys. But I deal with it. I didn't have to deal with a whole lot of other things. So what will make this any different? It's just another something that Sean G just have to deal with. And, uh... For the life of me. I'm going to get through it. Just like everything else uh, that I didn't got through. And uh, I'm hoping everybody else can do the same. And know that being vulnerable doesn't mean that it's a bad thing. Because I've learned through vulnerability, there's a whole lot of strength. You just have to be aware or be aware enough to know when somebody is there to help you along the way or others there to hinder your progress and you never seeing any results. Know who you are around and know who's around you and what they are around you for. Don't worry about the naysayers, guys. Y'all already know what side of the fence that come from. So don't allow that to dictate your moves, what you should do, how you should do it, where you should do it at, you know, the who, what, when, where, hows, and whys. You should know what's good for you and what's not when it comes to outside sources. But on that note, guys, I just wanted to uh, make this video to basically reach out for some help. I don't normally do nothing like this because I'm really a private person and I just learn to do things on my own no matter how long they take. Uh, I know in some how in some way uh, it will get resolved. It's just timing. It's just timing. And it may not be my time, but I know God is always on time. So with that said, guys, thank you guys again for tuning in to another one of my videos. I really, really appreciate you guys. You guys know that I never want to leave my videos without leaving them on a positive note. And you guys know the word that I use is power. So I'll take the peep for pressure. I'll take that order, release that pressure. But I want to share the OWE with you guys. Because you owe it to yourselves to be the best you you can be. And remember, God loves you. And I love my fam too. I'll see you guys on another video. <laughs> guys, I couldn't hold it in. I thought I was going to be done with my video. But I keep on looking at my... Uh, size of my hair. I'm not bald-headed, guys. My hair just very thin. 
and it's it's a lot of gray. And then I have a uh, grease, I mean a uh, beeswax on it. So look like I don't have nothing on there, but I do. <laughs> but <laughs> it's okay, it's me recognizing me. And I look at that as a good thing. It's nothing to, you know, be alarmed about or whatever. Uh, we pick and choose our battles, baby. And sometimes uh, the ones that's forced upon us is the ones that, you know, we have to put in the work, unfortunately, uh, to have to deal with. But y'all stay strong in the Lord and let them direct y'all pack. All right, guys, I'll see y'all on my next video. Stay safe. Be blessed.